Hi guys, Dorota Palicka International, new artist and educator and today we will be playing with five different new art. Guess on which color? I think, yes, we are going to be playing with some pink nails today. Have a preview of them in here. I actually love this series and, and I think we will be just producing all colors of the rainbow for you, if you like it, of course. So let's start some fun nails uh, in pink this time and we are going to play super quick uh, that's what i love about uh, those five different designs 238 today and that's a very bright uh, pink we are gonna use i've got my uh, form with different colors of the sponges and i'm just going to pick up the one which is pink and then blend some quick ombre so i like to use the tweezers so this way i don't touch the um, actual um, gel and then blend a super quick ombre so first of all I have introduced the color and now you can see it I'm kind of smudging I would call it a baby boomer kind of style uh, because I don't want to have uh, um, like any fluffs and bits and pieces that's why you see me also touching the um, sponge on the form. Okay, I'm happy with this one. Very quick, very easy. So that's the first tip. On the second tip, oh actually let's play with the sponges as well. So we will do some background for the sky, like something like a three dots and then as an extra color we are going to introduce the purple one 242. That's perfect. I will use the same sponge and just dab it in on one side of the tip just like this. So this way we've got some sort of nice background here as well. And then let's cure it. On the third one we are going to be uh, playing with some chromes. So let's grab uh, this color, paint the entire tip And then give it a cure. Let's go back to our super fast one. So here I want to paint some uh, sky, <laughs> like some clouds. Uh, we are gonna use the white gel and the watercolor brush. So I'm just grabbing a small amount of it and also some top coat. and then paint those clouds. First of all, I'm picking up just a pure white. I'm just painting the shape of the clouds. Just like this. So one in here, one in there, another one in here. And then somewhere here. Then dipping in my brush into the top coat and we are going to smudge it So this way we have, I could actually squeeze in one more and then just smudge it. So we've got two cute clouds and then using the dotting tool we are going to add some stars. The liner brush. And then let's cure it. Here I can apply the high shine no wipe top gel on the entire tip. and then give it a cure. 
We can also apply the crystals on this one. So base gel for crystals. Just a drop of it. And I want one crystal there. Oh gosh, that's a top coat, that's a base gel. So one in here, one in there, and there, and actually three will do. And the ones I'm going to use, that's the moon ones I call them, they are called Parsh. They're absolutely amazing actually, I love them so much. And then let's cure it. This one is ready as well, so we are going to grab the base gel. And secure some crystal placement. Now guys, this is um, something you have asked me as well, like how do my flowers not catch on the hairs? Uh, so I will show you how I do them so they are quite nice and flat because they actually really don't catch. Um, so one more time I'm going to show that technique because I think in this video I have explained it why I'm doing so. So first of all you have to guys pick up the flowers you want and you secure them with the base gel. Then around those large flower I want the small flowers and they have to almost kind of click in like so there is no gap and there is no transition. Now my a flower could catch on that place here. Like I hope you can probably see it. Yes, you can see it. It could catch here and it could catch there. You cannot leave it this way. And I'm gonna show you what I'm usually doing. So let me add more you base. Put more base yes, cameraman, that's what you can do it and that's what should be done in order for those flowers to don't catch. You have been listening. <laughs> okay, so you have to freeze those flowers because otherwise it will be quite difficult. So let's freeze them. Top coat our sky. So you can see it, I'm going around the uh, crystals and when I'm going around the crystals, I'm using those kind of motion as well to make sure this top coat really goes around the crystal. Smoothed it out because usually we make a mess when we apply the top coat this way. So nice smooth and then let's cook it in. Go back to the flower one. And as cameraman did say, we have to apply some more base in order for the flowers to don't catch. And what I'm doing is I'm picking up a scoop of the base gel and you just pick up the places where the flowers might stick out. So you kind of check it. Actually, they went really nice and flat. That's the only place where I could have possible catch. So I'm just smoothing out the transition with the base gel. Okay. We also want to add a drop of the base gel into each um, of the flowers <laughs> in order to secure some crystals in there. And we've got again some new flowers uh, coming up for you guys like and new things because I love them so much. Uh, so yeah you can check updated website with new things. No that's a mm, caviar bead. I don't want caviar bead. There we are. I want crystal there, so larger and then tinier ones. Let's place it in. Let's finish off our clouds. So we are going to pick up the French gel and we are going to make them more 3D. So I'm just went down a little bit and going to the top and we've got more 3D clouds. They are much more defined and we can use it uh, without a top coat, which is so fantastic for the designs. See, even the ones which was on the white background are standing out now. Okay, 
let's cure it. On this one we want to apply some top coat as well and create some other um, sugar design just to finish. I mean it looks amazing just the way it is like my clients would love it. They always love Baby Boomer. Again give those shaky motion with your top coat and look what's happened here. You cannot see any catchy places and it really wouldn't catch if you would do it that way. So hope guys that that's this helped you. <laughs> okay this one we can wrap the scrum. And I want to go for Aurora. Now I need to clean my finger because I like to use it with my finger. Let it dry and then wrap those chrome in there. Very pretty, very pretty. Again we need to know what to do so the chromes last. So what you have to do it is you take the file and you give a scratch to the free edge. If you don't do it the chrome might chip. Then let's apply the top coat so we can move on into the next part of this design. Fantastic! Cure it and now on this one we want to do some sugar design. So I'm just grabbing again the white gel and we are going to paint some sugar look. It almost looks like a it's not a honeycomb but like a kind of design like this. And the more on the bottom you go the smaller you want to go. Okay, that's me happy with this one. Grab some sugar. So very minimalistic design, very quick ones and easy. Sugar it and cure it. And since we've got our sugar out we are going to sugar another design but slightly different. So I've got, this is actually the white French gel mixed with this color to create uh, that color and I really love that. And let's do it. So watercolor brush now. Pick up those nice pinks, pink mixture. Get your brush ready and then let's start creating this design. So I'm just painting some sort of line swirls. Okay, now swap to the D-liner brush to perfect it. It's just much faster to paint with the watercolor brush than it is with the D-liner brush when it comes to a thicker lines. So you've got those ones complete. Another one. Then let's clean the brush and grab some white just so we've got another color in there. So white in. And then we are going to do some thin white lines. If you're scared you might touch it, uh, I suggest you do sugar it first then cure it. I'm just going straight away. Oh and that was a mistake because I could make this line cleaner 
Now I have no choice, I have to join them in. Okay, so if you're scared that you do the mistake uh, which I did it, do it pink first, sugar it, clean it, then do white. Okay, this is very risky now, but let's do another one. Yay! Just perfected. <laughs> and those kind of design looks absolutely fantastic. Like, I love them. And you can go, like, graduated, so you could go from white to the darkest pink as well, like, creating those sort of lines. Uh, again, as many ideas as you want. So let's sugar it. And the sugar will stick in only to the paint gels. It wouldn't stick into the top coat. Okay, so cook it in. And let's move on into a little bit harder, but at the same time, easy design. I'm going, I'm going to show you a fun way of creating it as well. So we've got the blank background and I'm just painting some pink. <laughs> I'm painting some purple. And I'm gonna paint some white with whatever I've got on the brush, really. Okay, so we have created some nice background. Now we also have got those uh, flower brushes. They come in a set of like um, different. So this one will be ombre, this one will be a flower. So I'm using this one. Uh, they've got all different shapes. Okay, so you've got the flower brush and this one has like a wee in it, I would call it. And now we are going to create some flower. Yes, we are going to create a flower. What I'm doing is I'm just pressing really hard with this brush, like nice and hard, and I'm start creating the petals. And they look absolutely amazing. Okay, now I'm swapping. So going like this. And we've got some petals here. Let's smudge another one and another one. Okay, let's cook our flour and see what we already have got ready. <laughs> what we've got ready. So this one is ready. Very quick and simple design. Just clean off the sugar and you can see it. It's nice and pretty. Let's place it there. This one is ready as well, so remove the excess. I love this one. Such a simple look, but it's absolutely amazing. So we've got the second one. Let's go back to our flower because it needs a bit more petals. So what I've got left on the brush, I didn't clean it. I'm just dipping in, in a white uh, to grab a little bit more white and I'm going to add more definition onto the flowers. Okay, just on some of them. And another one in here. So it looks so complex, like it looks so hard and difficult to do it. But it's actually quite easy with this uh, brush. This one is ready as well. And the French gel has a tiny bit of the inhibition layer. So I'm just using the UV cleanser to remove the excess of the inhibition layer. And we can just place it in there. So we've got another one. I will have to, once I see them all, I will have to place them in the right order. <laughs> now on this one, we will paint um, another flower. So let's do some background. And again, I want to use those uh, sponge, which we have used it for the previous one. And I do not bring any more products. I'm just using what I've got in there. Just totally random. Fantastic. Without of curing to speed up the process, we are going to grab some base gel, which I've got in here. So some base gel here and there, and a gold leaf. I usually take the gold leaf and I use either my nails or some scissors or a cuticle pusher, 
whatever I've got to hand to split it into smaller particles. And then that's me happy. So we'll grab it in and then flatten it nicely on our design. You want the gold leaf always to be nice and flat. You don't want it to stick out. And the base gel helps to achieve that. Uh, like it makes my life easier. I, it just sticks better to the base than it does to the actual gel polish, I find it. Okay, very nice and flat. Drop more and a smaller piece. That's a perfect one. There we are. And then let's cure it. Okay, let's finish off this uh, pretty flower. So I'm going to use the watercolor brush, some black, so a drop of the black, color it in, top coat, and just smudge it a little bit, just like this. and then give it a cure. So this one is ready for a step number two. Clean my watercolor brush because this one will give us a perfect, oh gosh, <laughs> squeaky, squeaky clean. Uh, this will give us a perfect petals. So I'm just picking up uh, the pink color and now I'm going to paint some petals here. So I've got one, press it hard, very light, and look, that's an amazing petal. One. And another one. Okay. Then repeat it on the bottom. So one. Two. And three. Give it a flash cure. And go back to finish the middle of this one. So before we finish the middle of this one, I'm just going to grab this flower brush one more time. And I'm going to paint some very small petal over it. So one and two. Kind of petal which is closing everything. Flash cure it. And then go back to our other type of flower. Clean the brush because now we want to use some white. So I've got white in here and we are painting a petals in between that. So one, two, three, and four. And keep doing the same on the bottom one. And the last one. Okay, give it a flash cure and go back to the other one. So usually when I'm doing like uh, those type of designs, I would uh, keep swapping a client's, uh, um, client's fingers. Now we want to do some dots around it. Okay, so I've got a couple dots in here and then I'm swapping to something which we shouldn't be doing. And I'm using my deliner brush to create some dots. When you do that, you have to ha you have to put no pressure. Because otherwise the tip of your brush will break. So no pressure. Lots of lots of small dots. And then top coat, uh, cure it and we can top coat it and then add some 3D particles in it. Let's finish this one. 
I want to grab a um, dot of the yellow color. Let me get rid of that. Mixed with the black and some pink, just so we can kind of create it more of a brown color. Could probably do it with the different shades, but I'm just using what I've got on my mixing palette, really. And then we are going to paint the middle of the flower here. Clean the brush and pick up the yellow one. Okay, ideally I want to create some green. Just a tiny touch of the green. And just so it's not as bright, dip in the brush in a black. So we've got the green. And you want to paint like extremely, extremely thin steam. Using the same color combination you can create a couple of the dots on the bottom here. Then flash cure it. Top got our other flower. I shine. So top coat it and then we can finish it with a little more detail. That looks so pretty already. Cure it. Keep finishing this one. So using the same uh, product I've got on the brush, I'm just going to give a little bit more definition. to some of the petals. The lines have to be like extremely thin. I'm not sure even, are they visible on the camera? They are. Camera always catches everything. Okay, so just a very small definition. And then line. And line. So we can kind of see them more. Swap to the white color. And add some more dots with the light reflection. I love those kind of dotty um, flowers, middles. And on some of them I can spend like literally, guys, like I'm talking if I'm painting very realistic ones, I could spend probably like a 15 minutes on the one middle, but then it looks just wow. Um, I'm going to add a drop of the orange. So I have to pick up red mixed with the yellow to create the orange. It's something you can hardly see it, but it does really make a difference. Okay. 
let's flash cure it. Finish off the detail in this one. So I'm picking up the white. I have to clean my brush and let it absorb the white because I've been playing with so many different colors. So just grab this white and finish uh, some small detail in there. So I want this petal to stand out. And this one to stand out. It's just so you can clearly see that these two petals are kind of on front. You can add a very small definition into some of the petals here. Not much, like really not much. So this one is behind it and it's coming down in here. This one is going to be up front. Okay, really beautiful petal. Here we've got some small one again. There is one behind it, which is hardly visible, but let's just indicate it. Another one. This one is really, really nice, so I don't want to make a... That's perfect one. I love this one. Okay, that's enough. That's that's really plenty uh, for this uh, flower. Let me show you at the different angle and let's cook it. I think I'm happy with this one as well. Just leave it alone. Don't want to do it anymore. What else you could do it is grab the watercolor brush, top coat and a drop of the black. That's one is top coat black and do a bit of shadow, like a very tiny wee shadow. Under some petals and then cure it. This one is ready, so let's clean it. We can place it at, see now I can see it where I want. So because we've got only one chrome, chrome goes in the middle. Let's top coat this one. That's an actually really simple, pretty design. I actually love this one so much as well. Like make sure you do top coat the gold leaf completely. You don't want it to be sticking out somewhere. And then we want this one to go in here. See, I've got the plan for everything. So this one goes in here. Then this one goes in there. This one goes up there. And then this one can jump in here. So we've got some flowers and now everything goes together. And I can show you the final look of those super fast and quick new designs in pink. And I hope guys you have really enjoyed uh, this uh, tutorial. I'm sending you huge glittery hugs and bye for now.